All right guys, so this was a gift from my buddy Wayne, and I've had this for quite a while. Decided it's time to go ahead and open it. So let's open it up and see what he sent. What's in the box? My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. If you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. All right guys, so this was a gift from my buddy Wayne and I've had this for quite a while. Decided it's time to go ahead and open it. So let's open it up and see what he sent. Let's see if there's anything else. There's one more thing out here at the bottom. Ooh. What do you know about that? Sony XCC 1000 electronic crossover. Very nice. All right, so here is a Sony XEC 1000 crossover, and it looks a little confusing, but it's pretty simple. I'm gonna break it down for you. There's three different sections here on top of the um, crossover. The far left is for the subwoofer, so you can have the input for the subwoofer on, or you can just use the front and rear inputs. So that's what that switch is for. Um, low boost, you can have it for the sub only, or the sub and the rear channel. Tell the sub to be stereo or mono, what frequency the low pass, phase plus or minus, and then your level adjustment here. Now, the front and rear section is essentially the same. So you have your mid cut here with your Q. This is a mid section here. Your high pass for your mid, like you said at 80 hertz or flat or whatever. There's your phase. And this is your band pass section. So Low pass would be like if you're running a mid mid range, maybe three and a half thousand hertz, and your high pass three and a half thousand to go to your tweeter. Level adjustments for mids and tweeters, and the same on this side. So back in the day, this was a pretty advanced crossover because you could go active with a front and rear component set along with the subwoofer. So pretty neat. Sony XCC 1000 donated by Wayne. Appreciate it, Wayne. Pretty cool piece here. Have you ever wondered what the guts of something like this looks like? An old school active crossover? Well, stick with me. I'm going to open it up and we'll find out together. So one thing I really like about the old Sony car audio equipment is notice each little screw area here has got a little arrow pointed toward it. Arrow pointed there, arrow pointed there. <laughs> There's two on each side. There's one on the front and one on the back. And what that makes it really nice for is when you want to take it apart, if you're a technician, then you know because it has an arrow pointed toward it. And notice there's no arrow pointed toward the ones where the RCAs are or where the barrier strips are. So that means you don't need to remove those screws to get inside. So We've got all the screws out, so let's pull the cover off. All right, so that's really hard to do with one hand, so hopefully I've got it to the point where I can actually pull it off. Let's see. There we go. There we go. There is the guts of the Sony XEC1000 active crossover from way back in the day. There's a battery mirror, some jumpers there, a lot of potentiometers and switches, a lot of resistors, small capacitors. That's kind of neat. Notice there looks like this board was designed for more capacitors back at the back that weren't inserted. Very cool. That's the internals of the Sony XEC 1000. All right, guys, there you have my quick little video here on this crossover. Not a whole lot to demo. Crossovers are kind of boring to show off, but still very cool. Thought you all appreciate seeing the internals as well. Make sure you check out 12 Volt Talk on YouTube, youtube.com slash 12V Talk. Me and my buddy Hi-Fi Vega do podcasts once a week, and you can see lots of cool content, lots of cool people we interview. Thanks, as always, for watching, commenting, liking my videos. Smash me a thumbs up. Special thanks to my Patreon subscribers, patreon.com slash oldschoolstereo, 
and also Wayne J. Matthew Marcus Jesus Tires and Soundstream Registry. I'm out of here! <laughs> Make sure to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I have over 500 videos here on YouTube, most of them car audio related. Some home audio, some pro audio, some big dummy related. But anyway, just check them out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching.